Hi everyone, in today's video, we're going to take a look at something quite amazing. We're going to be able to take an image and a motion video and then generate the motion on top of the image. It works quite amazing. Let's not waste any more time and take a look. Let's just open up the website. The website is called vigil.ai and over there you can simply click the join the beta. It will take you to a Discord server uh, they have no web interface at the moment. I assume they'll do one in the future if everything goes well. And as it seems, it will probably go well. So just click join the beta. Once you click join the, the beta, it will give you an invite to their Discord server. And once you click the accept invite, it will take you into their Discord server. We will go over the server in a few minutes. Let's just go over and see what we can get from Vigil's service. So they offer four services. They offer a mix, an animate, ideate, and stylize. The mix allows you to take an image of a character, take a video with a motion in it, and combine the two, and the motion video will be implied into the character itself. We'll see it in action later on. The animate allows you to take a character and simply prompt what you want the character to do, or you can also use our ready-made templates of motions. I will show you how to use them. The ideate allows you to generate with prompts both the character and both the video. This allows you uh, to generate whatever character you want using a text to image and use whatever animation you want, either again in a prompt or a template. And the stylize simply allows you to take an image and stylize the, even, the image to a different motion. And we were going to take a look at all these four options and see how they perform. So let's not waste any more time. Open up Discord and go to the Vigil's server. Once you join Vigil's Discord, it will take you to the rules to follow page where you need to make sure that you read the rules and make sure you follow them or you can be banned from their server. And then you can go to the self-introduction, simply click hi everyone and introduce yourself and once you're done you can go to one of the animate channels under the creator folder and we're just going to choose animate one and here you have the prompts you can use based on what we saw before and we're going to use the first prompt which will be ideate and once you'll start typing slash and ideate you will see it will give you a list with all the possible prompts or with all the possible commands and we're going to choose ideate and here it expects four parameters. The first one is the image prompt where we can simply write what type of character we want to see. So let's just type a ninja wearing black suit. And on the motion prompt, let's just use their templates. In order to see the templates, you can go to vigil.ai slash prompt. So let's open it up. And here on their website, once it loads, you will see you have an archive of a lot of motions. So let's search something with a fight because we're talking about a ninja. Okay, so that looks quite nice. Let's take this Let's take this animation and you can see there is a dollar boxing footwork. You can simply click here. It will tell you that the prompt was copied successfully and we'll go back to our Discord server and here under the motion prompt, we will simply paste the template with the dollar sign in the beginning. This tells the engine that you're using a template. If you want, you can simply write down your own prompt. We will check it out later, but using the template it generates much better results. As for background, once you click it, it will let you choose between white, green, or for a template. For now, we're going to choose the uh, green. It's easier later on to uh, composite the generated video into other videos. And whether or not we want to fine tune the results, of course, we want to fine tune the results. Of course, it takes a bit more time. And once we're done, we will simply click enter and the bot will tell us that it is generating a prompt. You are currently in a queue. It takes a few minutes and we will wait patiently until we will see the results. In the meantime, you can just scroll up on the channel and see some of the uh, things that other people on the channel created. Let's just wait for our results and see what we got. And our generation is done. Once the generation is done, you will get a notification if you're not on the channel itself. And you can already see that it generated here the character. This is the character that it generated. Indeed, it is a ninja with a black suit. And let's see what is the video that it's generated.
I think the results is astounding. If we'll take a look at the animation that we've done, this is the animation, you can see it on the right. And this is the result. It is one-to-one -one and the animation is very fluid, very consi consistent. You can see that the character doesn't flicker, doesn't seem to change. Look at the face, look at the eyes. Everything is very, very, very consistent and the results are unbelievable. We were going to download it and now let's choose something else. This time we want to upload an image and use our own video, not a template of a motion, but rather a video that we created. I pre-created a short video with a short animation and I'm going to upload an image. We will just choose some kind of a random image from the internet. I found this image. It will be a very interesting uh, challenge to see if it manages to animate this character. So we are just going to download the um, character. I think that this resolution is enough. And of course, we're saying thank you to Graphic Mama team for this image. Thank you. And let's go back to our uh, Discord server. And this time we're going to use the mix. The mix allows us to choose an image. So we're going to upload the image of this character. And it allows us to also upload a video. So not using a prompt this time, but using our own video. We're going to upload a file that I pre-created. And don't judge me how I dance. And let's go to the background once again. Let's choose a green screen and let's do on on the fine tune and give it a go. Let's wait a few minutes and see what the result is. And once it's done running, we can see the character that we've chosen. We can see the video reference. Don't judge me once again. And now let's see the result. And I think the result is quite amazing. You can see the consistency of the character clearly generated more or less the same character. It changed the face a bit, but all in all, the result is quite astounding. The animation and the movement is copied very good. And if we look at it one to one, you can see that it did a very good job. Now let's test another feature called character and character allows you to generate an image prompt and simply generate a character. So this is this works basically like a text to image and we're going to go with a dancing ballerina. And let's see what happens. And you see the results are quite nice. Actually it generates very nice images. And what we can do now is simply choose the image that we want to animate. It goes like one, two, three, four, and we can simply use these buttons in order to choose the character we want to animate. And let's choose one of these characters. I think that this one, very nice. We'll click P2. And now it will use this image in our prompt. It will ask us for the motion prompt. And let's go back to uh, motion templates. We'll type dancing. And let's see what we have here. And let's choose this beautiful animation and let's just copy the prompt go back to our discord server or here on the motion prop and here we're going to go with the green which is one and we're going to make it on with the fine tune and once we click submit it will actually generate the command for the animation like we did before and let's see how it goes and once it's done, you can see the character image that we've chosen. And let's see the video that it generated. I'm reminding you that this is the animation that we chose. And let's see the results. Once again, you can see that the result is very coherent, very consistent. There's not too much flickering on the animation. I really like the results. And once again, we're going to download the video. And let's test another one. This time we're going to create a character and create our own prompt instead of using the template. We're going to use the ideate. And the prompt is going to be a cowboy. And we want him to do a rodeo style dance. And background is going to be green and fine tune is going to be okay. Let's hit the enter. So this is the cowboy character that it generated. 
This is the cowboy ca character that he generated. I would say it's a bit stylized and it's a very, I don't know, weird cowboy, but let's roll with it and let's see the rodeo style dancing that it added to the character. Thanks. Very nice animation. <laughs> Once again, the consistency of the character is very nice. There is no flickering, maybe just a little bit, but considering the time it took to generate the animation, the coherency of the image, the consistency of the character, and the, the consistency of the animation is pretty, pretty amazing. I really like it. And now the last thing that we're going to check is the stylized concept. Stylized is supposed to accept an image file. And let's open up our ballerina from before and an image prompt. And let's make it a cyberpunk dancer. Click OK. And what it will do, it will change the style of the image and will change our character from a ballerina to a cyberpunk dancer. Let's see how it handles it. Okay, so now it's taken the image that we created and it tried to generate it as a cyberpunk. I think it struggled a bit, but let's try and animate this character on the bottom right. And this will be P4 and let's wiggle it. And this time let's once again, go to the motion ID in the templates and let's type something like parkour and find some parkour movements. And we're going to have a cyberpunk doing this fancy footwork. I wouldn't say it's parkour, but let's use it. Zero for white, but we want one for green. And here we want it to be on. Let's click submit and give it a go. And the video generation is done. Let's see. So this is the original image. And this is the video that we've got. <laughs> so you see it, it, it kind of struggles where the legs are crossed. But I think all in all, it did a very nice job. Once again, the consistency of the, of the character. Uh, this character has got a lot of details in the background and it managed to clear the background and extract the character itself. Very impressive work. All in all, I really like this service. This is only the beta and here on the Discord, you can go here to reference videos. You can find some reference videos for use. For you, so you can upload your own just to share with your community. So I really suggest you just uh, join the Discord and go over the server here. And all in all, very nice service. I really hope you found this video useful. I really think that the Vigil provide a high quality service. It is only beta, so there is a, a long way to go until we have a production level product, I assume but the beginning is very promising. The speed that it generates the animation, the coherency of the prompts, the, um, the consistency of the characters is very impressive. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye bye.